Cheers everyone, this is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Very accurate, very totally real simulator of battles and warlike scenarios. So, I have seen this one kind of come around recently, and if you know anything about me, which uh, you may or may not, I mean, because I was playing this a long time ago, back way, way before the subscribers have jumped, I am a huge history buff. History nerd, I guess you could say. I am a nerd of history and wars and battles and all kinds of fun things like that. So this is going to totally, totally be my jam right here. So we could play and kind of go through the normal stuff. But you know what? Where's the fun in that? Let's get right into the nitty gritty with the sandbox mode. So this is still in a pre-alpha version. So optimized if it ain't. I mean, I now have a GeForce GTX 1060. Oh, my. Man, that thing is nice, but this thing can kind of choke it at times. So we need to kind of start out really, really basic. So, what best thing to really clash together? Let's put shield guys against shield guys. Wait, the shield guys, right? Oh, there we go. They take up big old spots here. And let's do a even match over here. Okay, so that's five and five right there. And we're going to put some... Put men behind these guys. They've got a bit better formation. What can I say? Uh, now let's see. Now we need to put a little bit of variety between these two, I think. Put a couple of boxers uh, right over here. Put a couple of these guys here. And these guys instead will give barbarians. One, two, three, four, and uh, five. And last thing here. We need a little bit of... Let's get... One cannon on this side, and one catapult on this side. And let's see how this action plays out. So, what does this game really do? Well, it just throws them together. Like so. So, as you can see, things are not necessarily going to be the most optimized. And, boosh! Oh! Wow! Uh, <laughs> a guy over there in the distance. Look at him. Oh, this guy over here! How's he even just kind of hanging there? Whoa! 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 Woo, Daddy! Look at him fly, Daddy! So, that was nice and easy. Now, that's not anything necessarily fantastic. So, let's clear the playing field here. What do we want to go with next? Let's go with a little bit of a... Let's go with a riot, shall we? Let's go with boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so we're gonna have like 30 people over here on the left. And against them, we're gonna go with. Let's go with kind of some good old Roman tactics. Go with a wedge formation here. Oh, hold up. And just some footmen right behind them. And uh, one over here on this side too. Okay. Outnumbered clearly, you know, 14. Well, let's actually, in fact, put in couple of boxers here too, so we got some little champions, let's say. Bring this count up to 40. Alright! Let's see how this one plays out. And action! Oh. First kind of stuttering a little bit here. Oh. <laughs> Look at our shield guys over there. This might not exactly go so well for a blue team either. Like our guys kind of killed each other. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and they still actually- oh, man! Now, some of our foot soldiers have seemingly just randomly wandered off here. Oh, the Blues win still! Even though they were clearly outnumbered and outclassed. Well, not really outclassed, outnumbered! That's good and all, but we can do better. Okay, clear again. Okay, so let's say we want to get into some actual warlike tactics. Have a bunch of footmen over here. Okay, so how are we gonna handle 30 just straight up footmen? Well, we're gonna have a couple of walls of shields right here. So, first row right here is going to be shield, next row, spearmen. Next row, shields, next row, spearmen. Let's see what happens. Down and actually to the field. Let's kind of get into the action right from this angle here. Charge! Push! Oh, 
And who's winning? Who's winning? I can't really tell. I cannot tell. I'm gonna say I would expect that the Shieldmen and the Spears would be winning, but apparently it looks like, oh, they're kind of running away. Yeah, it looks like the Reds won this time. A couple of these guys are over here running off to who knows where. Are did my red guys? Looks like my red guys might be trying to kill each other. Okay, hey, hey, guys, you're supposed to be on the same teams. Now going to try to kill each other. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where Mr. Blueberry went. He's like, help me! All I've got is this big giant board. I'm using and calling it a shield. Yeah, eventually he's gonna go down. Oh, wait, wait. The shield guy knocked him down. Oh, look at this. This might be an unprecedented win here. I don't see him anywhere. What the? Oh, is a blue? I think the blue guy might actually win this. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another guy over there in the distance. Like a coward. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Wait, I think he got his... <laughs> I think he got his sword stuck in a tree. Go and handle on Mr. Blueberry. Oh, look at this intense action here. This is like the movie 300 or Braveheart. You ever actually saw action this good? Oh. Oh, there they go. Actually came down to the last man. All right, let's play. We're done. We're done with that. Now, the next one that I want to do is the Battle of Cannae, which was done by Hannibal Barca during his invasion of the Italian peninsula. Now, Hannibal was, of course, from Carthage and was against the Romans. This was early, kind of in the Republic. Well, mid-early, not really mid-early. Still, anyways. So, the thing about this one is that it was all in the formation of Hannibal. We'll say Hannibal is on the left side here. On the right side is going to be the Romans. So, let's see here. In order to do this, what we need is we need kind of some weaker ones in the center. So, we're going to kind of put... Let's kind of make our formation back about here. Okay, right there. So, that's going to be the weaker formation on the center. Now, our strongest is actually going to be on the flanks. And we're going to say these three over here. So we're going to kind of tighten up right here. Put the barbarians more in the center right here. Now, on the outer flanks, we're going to have chariots. So we're going to do two chariots, we'll say. Okay, next, we're going to happen to have some shield bearers right here. And behind them, we're going to put some spearmen. And same thing down here. So. Okay, so now the rest of these, we're going to make them a bit stronger and then a bit weaker towards the middle. So this on the left is basically going to kind of simulate what we have for Hannibal's army. Now on the right, we're going to have to simulate the Roman army. Back during this time, we happen to have a little bit of a different sort of formation. So we're going to use for the Romans. We had weakest on the front. And the Romans also outclassed as far as numbers, but we're not going to really be able to completely go crazy with that. Over here, we've got weak in the front. And we need our footmen in the back here, and our spearmen in the final row. In the final row here. Now, mind you, the Romans were a well-trained army even back then. So next, we need to have some archers here, good number of them, and some chariots. Put a couple of shield guys here in the center. This, I think, should hopefully be a respectable number. Let's see how this one turns out. Oh. Whoosh. Oh. Oh, holy crap. This might not go as well as planned because of the whole chariot situation here. Wow. And if the Romans had chariots that were this powerful, they would have totally decimated the, uh... Hannibal's army, but that's definitely not how it went this time, you know. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, the Romans are doing a lot better than they really should be here. Okay, I think we're gonna have to... Oh. Oh, yeah. They're about to go. This is Hannibal going down here. <laughs> yeah, the Romans did good there. We need to kind of pull that back a bit. Okay, so let's just take out our chariots. 
And let's actually kind of put this back to the original plans here, so... I know it's not, like, totally accurate whatsoever, Bell Simulator, haha. <laughs> but at the same time, I love trying to simulate this stuff, because I want to see this, I want to see how glorious it's gonna look. You can actually simulate this. Okay, I think that should be good enough numbers. Let's try this again without the, uh, chariots this time. All those guys are kind of running a little bit fast, I think. And how is this going to actually work out, huh? Well, still doesn't seem to quite simulate things that accurately because of not being able to keep these guys to stand their ground. I'm betting if you could stand your ground, this would kind of work a little bit better, but... Because the whole thing about the Battle of Kanae was the reason that Hannibal managed to win was he put his weaker units in the center, waited for them to push in, and collapsed the weaker units while surrounding them. Yes, I'm nerding out. This is what you get when you get the Blaster Brewmaster on a history buff. <laughs> okay, so, well, not totally accurate whatsoever, but we're going to clear this out. You know what, I don't have a really great sort of one for this, but we're gonna kind of simulate a Alexander the Great battle against one of the, I think it's Xerxes the second, if I remember right. Okay, so Xerxes was known for his chariots. Really, it was they were actually able to open it up quite wide, this. So, we're gonna try to do things a little bit here. Let's say... Chariots, chariots, and spear, 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 barbarians, barbarians, barbarians. That's my die. Oh, and whoosh. Can they actually survive against this? It's the chariots. Trying to get those chariot guys down seems to be a bit of a problem. Now, the question here is, are my spearmen going to be overwhelmed by these boxers and barbarians? I don't know, to be honest with you. Look at it! Come on, spear guys! Do your duty for Greece, for Macedonia! Oh, look at them, they're just running- oh, damn. I didn't exactly think that was going to go that well. Eh, yeah, you're not going to do too well here, buddy. <laughs> Yep, the Persians won in this case. So how can we try to improve this? Maybe if we try to widen this out and put some more spearmen back here. Okay, let's try that. So if they go right into it... Oh, did they take them down? I don't know. Doesn't seem like they managed to... Oh, wait, they've got them all down now. But are they gonna- I think they're still gonna be overwhelmed by the boxers here. Let's find out. Come on, Spearman! Go forth! Stab him! With great justice! You're kinda of getting your spear caught on this one guy. Maybe if I lift it up a little bit, there you go. Oh, now, you know, this might actually turn favorable. Now look at it over there in the distance, it looks like, uh, Reds actually is winning. Come on, Spear guys! Oh! Oh, look at them! Wait! Oh, they did win! I guess that was, like, the main thing, is we needed kind of a way to disarm the uh, chariots. We should have some cannons, just because I'm kind of curious to see what all will happen here. Catapults. A loose formation. So, we've got some heavy artillery in the back here, and we've got ourselves in loose formation. Let's also put a couple more rows there. Here we go. So now this might make things interesting, because we've got heavy artillery and waves of archers. How exactly is this all going to play out here? Oh! Look at that! Oh, dang! How are my guys going to do here on the red team? No red! No red team! Blue team sucks! <laughs> oh, codename Dirtbag! <laughs> if you get the red versus blue references there. Now, how exactly do they take these guys out? Do they just have to, like, stab them or kill them or... Because apparently they're getting their swords and their... Oh, well, hey. Guess the guys are just hanging on there dead. Didn't realize that. Ah! Well. 
So, I think I'm kind of out of ideas for tonight, so we will go ahead and leave that exactly where this is. So, thank you for joining me here today on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you like it, please give it a like, give it a comment, give it a subscribe if you haven't already. I always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you, the viewer. In the meantime, raise a glass of whatever you're drinking, or your can of whatever you're drinking, in the air. And have another one on me. Love and peace, everybody. Love and peace. And let's see what happens if we... Boosh! Oh, nice! Oh. Uh, you can block too, but why would you want to do that? That means that you're not actually... Oh! That you're not actually punching people. Punch! Kick punch! It's all in mine, pal. Boosh! That's what I thought. Give him the chair! Give him the chair! Oh! Holy crap, there's actually more people in here. I didn't even realize that. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Oh boy, I'm surrounded. When you find yourself surrounded, get yourself back.